All right, so Dylan Frandez has left Star Racing and he went over to Phoenix Honda. We just found this out. So Vital MX dropped a YouTube video of pretty much his first day on the bike. So I want to do kind of a different video here. We're going to do a little reaction video to it. Um, I've been trying to think of some content I can do while I'm not riding. I personally love reaction videos, so we're going to fucking run it and see what happens. Just want to let you guys know it's not my video. It's Vital's video. We're just going to be watching this shit and letting you guys know what's going on. So first thing off the rip, these Phoenix Hondas are beautiful bikes. It's like the only team that rolled uh, gold rims like all year round and I fuck with it heavy. Because I want gold rims for my bike, so they inspire me. And of course this fool rolls up in a Tesla too. There's no surprise to that. He's got to induce himself. Usually people from other countries are pretty rude, but maybe he's a nice guy. That's the homie right there. Got some plain. It's weird not seeing him in like star gear. I think he's been on star for what, like almost 10 years. So it's kind of odd just to see Fernandez on a different bike. Like we've never seen him on anything but a Yamaha for the last fucking probably 11 years. So it's really weird to see. But I mean, his helmet matches the bike really good. I think that's a signature helmet from Bell, no? I think he has a signature helmet. These guys are fucked up. Look at that pipe, dude. I want a nice pipe for my bike. I just got some stock shit. That's... Oh my God, he looks like K-Dub. That's crazy. Where's Kevin Windham when you need a man? Miss that guy ride. Look at him though, he looks good on this bike. Honestly, I don't even mind him on the Honda. I like Hondas, I think all the Honda teams are sick, like Moto Concept, Phoenix, and obviously HRC. Everyone that goes to him does good too, because I think they got the bike super dialed. Um, this team runs FC though. I don't know if they run Factory Connects from last year, I honestly don't even know. But he looks fairly comfortable on the bike. It's gonna, I don't think Phoenix Honda has had a 450 rider. They probably just saw a good opportunity with Ferrandez coming up because they can have a top five guy on their team realistically, like he is in the playoffs. I mean, I'm so pretty sure he got like some mini, mini thirds and stuff. Bike, See what he has to say about the bike. I feel exactly what I was looking at. The guy in the race, I feel it today. <laughs> <laughs> I feel it's so much easy to turn. Uh, when it's bumpy, like in the back, very back, they make like a fake bump a little bit. For the guys who don't know, he's explaining about the suspension basically. The bike's tracking and it's handling really well. He likes it. I actually know when he was on Star Racing for the last couple races, he switched to factory connection. So he was already working with Ziggy and these guys, I'm pretty sure, um, because they were posting him and stuff. But they were still running like the stickers from Star, obviously, because on the team for like sponsor reasons, you can't switch it. Finish my turn, make the bike straight, straight and what? And do the, the small jump. And wow. like, oh, it's like I love the way he talks. It's funny. Everyone hates him on the podium. I think it's funny though. He's like up there mumbling shit, and I'm like, fuck yeah, I love this guy. Pirelli tires though. Coming off the mob specs, going to Pirelli. That bike pulls pretty good too, damn. I don't know. It doesn't look too bad. I mean, Fran is just kind of a sloppy rider, so I don't think no matter what bike he's on, he's going to have his feet off and stuff. And, but good style. He looks kind of big on the Honda. Like, I didn't realize how big this dude is. He's, he's got to be pretty big. Look at him. I'm not saying he's fat. Don't get offended. Okay. He's not fat. He's a big dude. Phoenix, this thing kind of sounds weird to me. Like the bike. Like, oh. I don't know if I'm tripping or not. Some Steez. Okay. Steez McGee's. No, Fran has had Steez in him. Dude, look at him. Kind of rides with that, that right elbow down a little bit. You guys notice that? I mean, well, who am I talking? I'm fucking here judging a guy who's multiple titles. I haven't raced anything. Look at this, though. Dude, he looks good. What gear do they wear? They wear moose gear. And I think he'll be able to stand up bell helmet, too. I don't see him leaving the bell helmet. Ah, he looks comfortable. I like it. I'm happy for this change. I think Fran is going to be way better on this bike. I think he was just worn out over at Star. I don't know if he's difficult to work with or something, but that's what I heard from a couple people, some rumors. Hey, look at him. Solid. I was wondering, they, they can't be paying him a lot. There's no way they have funding, unless Honda wanted him for some reason, and Honda put out some money for the team, but I doubt it. Phoenix, Phoenix Honda's always had a good team, though. They, I mean, they have J-Law now. They're obviously doing whatever the fuck they want. If they could pick up J-Law, I mean, you could, right? I guess what I would assume. They're, they're doing whatever the fuck they want. When I, when I calm myself and just ride easy, the balance I have, it's crazy. Like the, the I mean, I'm sure for Supercross, he's going to have to do a ton of testing. I mean, overall, I'm happy to see Fernandez on this bike. I think it's going to be dope. And I mean, I'm sure he's going to go fast on it, right? He's a fucking fast guy. He's going to be fast no matter what. These top level guys are always going to be fast. That's what people don't realize. It's like, if you're a factory guy, you're gonna you're gonna be up front. And I think Fran is one of those guys. A lot of other guys who fill in, they're not. 
But Fernandez is like a legit guy. He's not a filling rider. You know what I mean? He was on star. He literally won an outdoor championship two years ago. So there's no reason he can't do it again. Curious. Let me know what you guys think about this video. I know this one was kind of boring, but I got to learn how to do this shit. This is not my ropes here. I like doing vlogs. This is new. Uh, we got a camera set up with a light and a computer. We're watching a video together. It's fucking odd. But we're going to figure it out and have some fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. And see you guys in the next one.